everybody. Glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to my first ever unboxing video. Except, except the item that I'm going to unbox today. I have already unboxed it. I have already been wearing it. So although the title says it's an unboxing, it's it's a reconstructed unboxing, just to be completely transparent with you. I did take a really crappy recording on a phone in a hotel when I was unboxing this for real, just so you can get a sense of what it was actually like at the time. But I'm going to kind of recreate it for you today as I talk about what I have. So as you may see from the title, today's video is essentially unboxing a luxury handbag. Now, I was a bit apprehensive about putting this on my channel because I don't want it to seem flexy or anything like that. I mean, this is something I've saved up for a long time for. It's something that I've wanted for a long time, and I'm very proud to be able to finally have that. I don't want to come off kind of flexy. I don't know how else to put it. But I did ask you guys on Instagram if you'd like to see it because I think I posted an image of myself when I was out shopping when I made this purchase. I think I put it on my Instagram stories and you guys said that you did want to see it. So I think let's do it. So a little bit of a, a background. I'll try not to take too long, but I've been into luxury handbags not for that long. I think I might own around about five, maybe six handbags. N not too many, but I've... I've been collecting them since the start of this year, actually. And this was a handbag that I've wanted for so long. And I worked really hard last year um, expanding my business. If you don't know, if, if you don't actually watch my main channel, I run a plant shop and I spent all year expanding my business and moving to a new place. And it just, I looked terrible all year. I didn't buy anything. I didn't do anything. I just worked. So at the start of this year, I cleared out my wardrobe. I decided what my 31 year old style was and I kind of went for it. And I invest a lot more money in myself now than I think I used to, like skincare, hair care, makeup, clothing, extras like bags and stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm into now. And I want to tell you a little bit about what I bought. So this handbag I did see in January, as soon as I got into handbags, I found out about this handbag. I, I wanted it for so long. I, I showed this bag to a few people and they were like, no, don't like it, don't want it. Um, but it didn't really put me off. So I decided to save and save and save. Now I went into the Dior store and tried this bag on possibly in March or April. But I tried it on a while ago and I was like, yes, okay, now I definitely know that I want this bag. So I kept saving up for it. And as of about a week ago, I was able to finally walk back into Dior and buy this bag. Now, before I get into it, a few people asked me, you know, what was the experience like in Dior? So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it because Dior was quite a prominent choice for me in terms of like not buying something pre-loved and actually like going into a store. I had heard nothing but amazing things about Dior's customer service when it's compared to things like Chanel and Hermes. I hear nothing but not great things about their customer service. For example, I hear people going into Chanel or Hermes and getting kind of snooted at if they don't seem like they're looking to actually buy something or they just look down on. The staff, apparently, anyway, never been in, don't seem very helpful and stuff like that. But by contrast, I've heard nothing but fantastic things about Dior. And I have to tell you, when I went into my local store, which is Selfridges in Manchester, they were absolutely phenomenal. They took such great care of me. I walked in. It was a really helpful, nice environment. You didn't feel like you were walking into a luxury boutique. It's really weird to explain. You didn't feel like you were walking into a luxury boutique in terms of the customer service, but it looked and felt like one. Does that make sense? They were just, the women behind the desk were so nice and helpful and there's nothing they wouldn't do to help you out. At one point I was trying on a strap. I do own a Lady Dior um, handbag and I was trying on this strap as well as trying on this other bag and I wanted to see if it went with my current bag that I brought into the store that day when I was trying it on like back way back when and they were so helpful that they wouldn't even let me put the strap on on the bag myself. They were like no no allow me kind of thing and they were they were putting the strap on and it was just such a nice experience. Honestly, it was beautiful. Um, I'll get into a little bit more about the packaging and stuff that this all came in because it was gorgeous. But when she, when I made my purchase and she handed me the bag, she'd sprayed it with perfume. She'd sprayed it with like a new Dior perfume. And so she handed me this massive bag. It was ridiculous. The bag that everything came in. I don't think it needed to be that big. But she handed me this massive bag and it just smelled absolutely stunning. It smelled of this Dior perfume. 
Um, and it was just, the, just those little touches just made the whole thing absolutely amazing. Now, I'm now going to show you like a reconstructed version of how it arrived. Now, I will tell you something. I'm going to have to move back in the frame in just a second. The, the outer bag that it came in is a little bit battered. And that's because I bought the bag and then I had loads to do. I had some traveling to do. So the beautiful white, gorgeous Dior bag got put in the back of a van. And it's not the cleanest of van because plants have been in the back of it. So it's a little bit scuffed and I'm a little bit gutted, but everything inside is absolutely fine. So let me just move a little bit back in the frame and I will show you what I got. I feel like that's further back enough for now anyway. But this here, it's huge and it's heavy. This here is the Dior bag that I got. It's probably going to fill the entire frame. It is absolutely ridiculous. So that's what that was. Um, you may have seen it on the image when I, you know, I, I was shopping and I put it on my Instagram. It's just ridiculous. It was really hard to carry around as well because I wasn't actually done with my day. I had a few things to do. So this was actually really hard to carry, but I got handed this. It had a beautiful bow on the top. I haven't done it quite as well as what it was, but it was really, really pretty. And the scent that wafted off the bag was ridiculous. So let me undo this. This is a beautiful Dior ribbon that it comes with. Hopefully you can see how gorgeous it is. Very, very pretty ribbon. Love that. So I'll keep that in the box. And inside the box, I have, I think I have the authenticity card because it came out of the bag and I had to pull it out last minute, but that's what's in there. I'll show you that a little bit later. So I will pull everything out of the box because I'm really too far back in the frame. This is one of the boxes I got. And in here we have the other big, beautiful box. This obviously has the bag in it. The other box has in a little accessory, which would be my strap. So let me just put this on the table in front of me and then move back towards you because I'm too far away. I don't like being that far away. I did get the receipt with my purchase. Where is it? It was quite cute. It was in this little, um, little card here with the receipt in like so. Don't know if you can see that but you should always keep your receipts when you make purchases like this. I mean, you should keep your receipts anyway, obviously. But when you make purchases like this, it's very important because if you ever come to resell any of your stuff, it just really adds value to your your resell, your resale, your... It adds more value to your stuff anyway when you, if you want to list it again as pre-loved or whatever, especially if you keep the packaging as well. People love that when they buy um, pre-loved. So that's a really good tip if you want to keep all your packaging. I'm certainly keeping mine because it's absolutely stunning. And it's not every day that I'm going to be receiving something as awesome as this. So I really want to kind of savor it. So that is my receipt in there. I'm going to unbox this one first. Pull this little ribbon off like so. I can't remember exactly how the ribbon was. I didn't, I didn't look. I have recorded a little video of me unboxing it, but I can't remember how it actually looked. So I kind of winged it. But this is the first little package. Let me just get this off like such. Really nice box. And it came a little bit like this. Hopefully you can see without it blown out too much. And it came with a little seal on it. Now the seals just come straight off. Let me actually get it off for you. There we go. Now if you open it up, you get the item in its own dust bag like this. So I'm going to pull this out and leave this over here. Very, very beautiful. Love the dust bag. Um, that is it. The dust bag looks like this. Again, it's for a strap. So of course the, the dust bag is quite small. That's what it looks like there. It has the Dior logo on. It has it on in gold, but it doesn't feel like it can really come off or anything like that. It's really nice, really nice, fresh fabric like that. Sorry if it's blown out. I'll move it back so you can see. So that's the dust bag. I will pull out the strap. Now I did get a strap that is considered very, um, not basic, but it's just the most popular strap that Dior sell. And honestly, it goes a lot with my wardrobe. So I wear neutrals now. I don't really wear anything else that isn't a neutral. I got rid of everything. I'm well into my neutrals. So this is why I got this strap essentially. But the strap that I got is this one. It is the shorter strap. You can get longer ones that are thinner and they're adjustable and you can make your bags cross body. I tried it and I, I didn't love it actually. But this is what it is. It says Christian Dior on this side. And also, oops, it is reversible. So if I'm wearing a light color, like for example now, and I want to wear my bag quite, you know, lifted in appearance, then I can use this side. If I want to make more of a statement, I can use this side. And I'm in love with this strap. It is a really thick guitar strap. That's the best way I can describe it. It has buckles here on the bottom like this. I think you can adjust these, but I'm not going to. Like, I, I just don't need to. 
And on the little clips on the bottom, obviously I have been using them. Um, it does say, is it on both sides? Yeah, it says Dior right here on the clip on both sides. On the back here, it says made in Italy and it's in capitals. I think some of the fakes you can get, uh, they don't even write it in capitals. So be careful if you're buying um, pre-loved. Um, any other distinguishing features? I think not. I think that's it for the strap. But it's very, very gorgeous and I love it. And I don't really think that I'm going to need another strap for some time because the Lady Dior I own is like a beige colour. It's like patent beige leather. So this goes with that. And I checked that it did when I originally tried this on. So I'll put the strap to one side and I will now unbox the back. So as I showed you before, it comes in this really big box. I'll try my best to actually unbox this on camera but it's it's not easy it's really not easy so pull this ribbon off same ribbon as the other one that was around the top of the bag so this came like this it was wrapped it did have a seal on the paper but obviously i have removed it um it's right there actually and it's stuck so here there was a seal like that there where my hand is sticking everything together but as i mentioned a thousand times this is not my first unboxing it's it's reconstructed so second bag happens to be in here this is the lining of the dior box it's got really nice ribbed kind of tissue paper on the bottom it's very sexy i love it so we'll move that down there like that and the bag that i have to show you is in here and i'm now going to pull it out and I will explain why I chose this bag, obviously, when I pull it out, because this has a, a, a love-hate reception, should we say, for this bag, because not everyone loves it. But my Dior bag that I've wanted for so long to get is this one. This here, I know it's not for everybody, but it's definitely for me. This here is the Dior saddle bag. This is the larger size, and this is in black grained leather. I'm going to show you it up close like such it looks like this now if i turn it this way it looks like this it has a magnetic clasp here that you can't tell that's how you open the bag that's how you open the bag and then inside it's not the easiest to show you because it just it never comes off on camera but it's got a beautiful um suede interior and it's got a little pocket at the back that admittedly i haven't used yet and if i close it back up like so it off. If I close it back up at the back, there's also another pocket where you can put your stuff. I have actually been putting my face mask in. I don't know where that went, but I have a like a nude satin face mask that I just pop in the back when I'm wearing all my nude colors and I just feel great. On the sides of the bag here, you have the CD, which is really nice actually, because when you put on the bag, it's like the thought of everything. You get a really pretty CD up the front like this. So if I just move back a little bit, There. That's kind of how it looks. Really, really pretty bag. It's pretty on its own, don't get me wrong, but it's even prettier with the strap. Let me just get the strap on because it's absolutely gorgeous. I did notice when I bought this strap, it, was, it wouldn't move very well. It was very awkward when I bought it, but honestly, it's just because it was a brand new strap. Like the, the mechanism, you know, the, the, the turning ability on these clips just needed to be kind of worn in a little bit. It was a little bit difficult to maneuver the strap. But you may be thinking, how on earth does this strap go on? So what you do is you strap it onto this part of the C here and you get your strap, make sure it's on the right way. And you just clip it like that and you move it all around, make sure it's the right way. And on the other side, again, you clip it, come on, onto the C and then you get this beautiful, beautiful, Beautiful strap for the bag. What you do get, sorry for my clothing, I've actually done this for comfort rather than for actual filming, but you can wear it like this as this kind of bag. You can also wear it crossbody. I have to be very careful of my microphone so that it doesn't affect it. But you can wear it crossbody like this and it looks really cute and you can decide whether you want you know, the saddle up like that on the front or you can have it on the back 
or anything like that. It looks really gorgeous, by the way, like really, really gorgeous. When you actually just carry it like this, when you carry it like this, it just looks absolutely stunning with an outfit. Really, really beautiful. And of course you can just wear it without any strap at all. So why this bag? So it's not for everyone. I know a lot of people don't like this bag. It's, it's a very love it or hate it bag. I get that. So a lot of you might be like, ooh, that's gross. So a fun fact about me is I grew up horse riding. And when I say I grew up horse riding, I grew up partially on a riding school. So from the ages of like, honestly, two, two or three, up until about maybe 14 years old, I've been horse riding my entire life. A uh, huge part of my life. I'd like to consider it one of the, the finer parts of my childhood, actually. I even did it competitively when I was younger. I used to go to pony clubs. I used to do dressage, show jumping, um, cross country, the works. I think dressage was my favorite because I was the best at dressage. But anyway, I've been mega, mega, mega into horses my entire life. I think one day, like end game when I get my forever house, I would quite fancy a horse. If you think it's a bit weird, honestly, it means a little bit more to me than that because I'm very horsey. My fashion can be very horsey as well. And it, it has been quite equestrian on occasion. Like I'm quite happy to wear my hair in like a low ponytail, put maybe like a barber jacket on, some leggings or something like that. And like some long riding boots. And that's just my fashion. So for me, this makes total sense, but I get that for other people it might not. But that's why I actually chose this particular bag. There was a good reason for it. Now, in terms of what you can fit in it, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, you can't fit much in it. But I knew I didn't need to fit much in it. So I can fit my phone in it. Um, I don't have all my bits and pieces here because obviously I've taken them out of the bag to film this. I can fit my phone in it. I can fit my Invisalign in it, like my sunglasses, stuff like that, my wallet. But that's about it. That is max. So it doesn't fit a lot in it. But honestly, I don't care. This bag is the most beautiful, beautiful bag ever. I've never spent this much money on a bag. And honestly, I thought I was really kind of worried that when I left Dior, like later on that day, I might have like a panic attack and like regret my purchase, but I just haven't, I really haven't. So let me put this back down and I will show you the best I can what comes in this little envelope, which was in the bag. And it should be, yeah, there's an authenticity card in here and something else. So let's have a look. That just says Dior 9 on it. I don't know what that means at all. If someone could tell me what that means, then that would be awesome. I don't know what that actually means. Um, I get a, what is this? It's like a little booklet. Care guidelines. Oh, okay. So it's how to care for it. Awesome. Beautiful. Love that. And the last thing, of course, that you would expect to, um, to get in here would be the authenticity card, which is here. Now I am going to partially cover it because it's very important that I do cover it, but I'm going to cover it like that. So that's what's on the back of the authenticity card. That basically says where I bought it. So that's Selfridges, Manchester, hopefully that that's viewable on there. And then here there is a barcode, um, the date, which is the 3rd of the 6th, 2021, and a reference number at the bottom that to be quite honest, even I can't read. But that is what's on the authenticity card. This is what lets you know that it is real. Um, I know it's real anyway, because I went into a Dior store and bought it. There's a few reasons why I didn't want to buy this bag pre-loved. And I think that was one of them because I knew there was so much money and even pre-loved, these bags go for a lot of money. I really didn't, I just didn't want to risk being duped online. That was another part of it for me. Um, so that's why I went into the store. Plus, I, I do have another bag, my my Lady Dior, that was um, pre-loved. And I'm very happy with it, but I just wanted to have the experience that everyone has. So that is my beautiful bag. I'll take the strap off it just because it's a little bit easier to hold it up for you without the strap on because it's very long. But that is it. That is her. That is my bag. It's stunning. I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I already want more colors of this. They do a warm top color and it's absolutely mind-bogglingly lovely. And I'm thinking of treating myself again for my birthday, which is in October, to another saddlebag or perhaps a Lady Dior. And they do have it in warm top and I'm really considering it. I wouldn't use it in white. I'd be terrified but they have a really nice top one. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably definitely going to get another one though, because this just goes with my style so well. You can wear like literally nothing like t-shirt and jeans 
and you can look phenomenal just carrying this bag and I love that because all of my clothing is very very minimal effort it's very floaty it's not form-fitting it's just very chilled out there's like light tailoring but generally it's very floaty and very neutral so for me it just works beautifully to just elevate everything I'm wearing I'm not much of a jewelry person I have something on now a very tiny little necklace and I have one ring that I wear um, which is here so I don't I don't wear much, so I like the fact that this does a lot for me. So that is my beautiful, amazing saddlebag. Thank you very much for watching. I've got nothing but wear out of this. It was sad to have to box it again, but I've literally, I've been taking this everywhere. And I've just been dumping belongings that don't fit in it and not taking them with me because I want to wear this that bad. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know that I'm absolutely ecstatic with this purchase. Um, and I guess that's it. That's my first unboxing that is not an unboxing, to be honest. It's, it's cheating a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the Dior saddlebag. Again, I know it's not for everybody. I know a lot of people love it. A lot of people think it's absolutely horrendous. I am in the camp that loves it, and that is largely due to my background and my upbringing with horses and just generally my fashion is quite equestrian. So let me know what you actually think about this bag. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.